look at those palm trees. Holy crap. All right, guys, today is totally awesome. I'm out at the airport with my sister, Jennifer. We are flying to LA today. I can't tell you why yet, but it's gonna be sweet. Ah, uh, yes, we're enjoying a healthy breakfast of tots and breakfast burritos. No, this is not low carb, but look at this, guys. Mmm, look at that. Sausage, eggs, cheese, bacon, delicious. So we are looking for gate five to Atlanta. Ooh, look at the planes. Oh, sweet. Look at this, guys. I thought it was like a legit plane, a real plane, but I don't think it is. The tires are real. <laughs> but look, the windows are totally fake. It's a model. Ooh, let's go over to the Akron sign here. Hold on, let me get out here a little farther. Okay, there we go. Smile for a selfie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at this, guys. This is legit a painting, a huge painting here. Look, you can see and feel the paint throughout. Ooh. It's been so long since I've actually been in an airport since like 2007. Oh, check it out, the breastfeeding station. Oh, sweet. <laughs> All right, here we go, gate five. Thank you. All right, guys, here we go. Delta 5166. With service to Atlanta, short taxi this afternoon. We should be airborne shortly. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for departure. <laughs> That wasn't bad at all. I expected those seats were gonna be so tight and so small, and I'm enormous, and it was very, very comfortable, actually. So, uh, on to the next one. Stop number two, we are at a restaurant called Chicken and Beer, and you gotta see this. Look at this, fried catfish and dirty rice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my God, guys, that is slap your mama. Second flight here, getting ready to take off out to LA or bust. We've got little TVs here where we can watch movies, USB ports, and then there's actually a plug down here too where I have mine plugged in. Pretty cool.
All right, guys, we made it. We are in LA. We are the last ones off the plane. Look at this. <laughs> this is a huge plane, too. That was pretty amazing coming in, seeing all those lights from the sky. So we are on our way to our hotel. We found our driver here. Her name is Elena. <laughs> I'm gonna cause a wreck here driving. <laughs> so we're heading out here. It's pretty amazing being here in LA. And uh, I mean, it just, it looks crazy out here. Although I did see a hometown buffet. I can't tell you if it was abandoned or not because it's night and it looked like it was closed. So <laughs> courtyard Marriott, look at this. We got an awesome pull out couch there and a huge king size bed. They gave us hundred bucks spending money just for fun. And I know you're dying to know what I'm out here for, but I am not telling you yet. All right, guys, check us out. We came down here to get something to eat, and you got to see our little cozy cove here. Look at this. It's a booth. It wraps all around, and we got our own TV over here. <laughs> this is great. Okay, guys, so I'm ready for bed. I'm exhausted from that flight, and uh, just got cleaned up, crawled into bed here. Tomorrow morning, I have to be downstairs at 6 15 to be picked up to go to the place i'm going and hopefully in this video i can tell you where that's at um but i'm not sure yet so by the end of this video you may or may not know <laughs> so i'm going to bed good night and i will see you in the morning it is what is this thursday morning about uh what do we got 6:08 a.m in la I am whooped. I am so jet lagged from yesterday, but we are finishing up getting ready. We have to meet the driver downstairs at 6.15, and uh, I, I still don't know yet when I can tell you why I'm out here. So if that happens during this show, then good. If not, I will tell you as soon as I can. All right, guys, we have just arrived at the destination. I cannot tell you still where it's at, but this is what it looks like for the moment. What is this, like five hours later, it seems like we're leaving this building here. I still cannot tell you what it is, but you will find out soon enough. And it is awesome. As we have got a few hours to kill, so we're going over here to Venice Beach. We're gonna go into the Venice Whaler right now, get something to eat, I am starving. Look at those palm trees, holy crap. funny all right guys this is amazing if you had told me two weeks ago I'd be out here walking in bare feet on Venice Beach in California well, I had absolutely no clue guys this whole thing happened so fast and it's just absolutely amazing look at these waves wow look at this we're walking on thousands of little tiny clams right here what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry about your home clams. Look at this guys, holy crap. What in the world? Oh my gosh, the water is so freezing cold guys. Okay, here's some comes. Holy crap. Oh my God, it is so cold. <laughs> that water is so unbelievably freezing, but it feels good. All right, we gotta find somewhere where we're not murdering thousands of clams reason that we're carrying all our crap around is because our plane doesn't leave till midnight and we have nowhere to leave it and if you left it lay out on the beach the tweakers on this beach would it would be gone oh the scavengers oh so they would yeah. just grab them and be out of here with this stuff man that's why we're carrying around like a hundred pounds worth of crap so <laughs> on the beach look at all the palm trees guys I mean, I've seen palm trees one time when I was in uh, Hilton Head, but these are like legit California palm trees. We got a seagull friend over here, guys. 
Ooh, a couple of them. They're actually all up and down the beach here. Guys, look at this. I wonder if these are barnacles on these things over here. I gotta get a close up. Holy crap, I think that is what it is. I think that's barnacles. And I can't think of what they called it, but back in like the pirate days, I believe one of the tortures was that they would uh, tie a guy up and throw him overboard by the front of the boat because these would be covering the whole bottom of the ship and they would let him slide on those and just get totally torn up all the way. Look how sharp those would be on your back. Holy crap. I mean, on your whole body. Ugh. That is crazy. I just can't believe it. I cannot believe I'm standing here looking at this stuff, guys. Look at that. Barnacles ahoy! <laughs> okay, guys, so regarding why I'm out here, I am honestly not allowed to tell you yet. It's something that is totally awesome. Something that came at me like right out of the blue. I mean, out of nowhere. Look at that. And uh, it gave me an all expense paid trip out here. The flights, the hotel, food, spending money. And I'm standing here on Venice Beach. Although I did just spend 80 bucks on beer batter fish. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got sailboats out here. I know this is strange to say that I'm at the beautiful ocean here. But this reminds me, seeing the sailboats reminds me of being out there at Lake Erie with Richard and Kara the one night. I mean, this, believe me, is totally different but it looks so awesome. I don't even know if you'll be able to see them on the camera here, because they're even small to me, just looking out there myself. I'm seeing all kinds of little shells and sand dollars and all kinds of awesome stuff here as I walk along the beach. This is great, it's just like exploring with no agenda. And just standing here looking at this, it's, it's so amazing. You know, being from Ohio, it's, it's just so different. I don't know, I don't even know what to say. As this water is guys it feels so good <laughs> all right guys it is 10:03 p.m. LA time. I am absolutely exhausted. So is my sister. She's right back there zonked out. And uh, we've been waiting here. Our flight is not until 11.55 p.m. We've been at the airport since about 3 o'clock. We went out to, well, as you know, we went out to uh, uh, to the beach for a little bit. And then we took a lift back here for 20 bucks. And I mean, we could have gone running around LA and doing some other things, but we were both just exhausted. And plus we would have ended up spending a hundred bucks or more on, on Ubers and that. So we just came here and been toughing it out, waiting. We leave at 11.55, we have a five hour flight. And then we have a three hour layover in Atlanta before we take the final flight home. This is going to be a long night. So I'm going to sign off now. And uh, guys, stay tuned to see what awesomeness took place out here. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'll see you guys later. Peace.